Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Juan Mattioli, and as you guys might know, I'm the creator of Inaho, and, uh, you know, I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> talk a little bit about Inaho, because I know you guys, uh, have been reading and stuff, so I just wanted to talk about it. So, um, basically, uh, the story was created by me and my best friends in elementary school, and, uh, we would, uh, roleplay, uh, our manga. We kind of developed the characters from there, and I kind of based them all out of us. And but uh, you know, later on in the years, we all just kind of broke away. So, um, as the original artist of the book, I I decided to you know take it on myself. So here I am, 19, you know, finally working on myself. And I can only say that uh, you know I wasn't uh, as good when I started, but I did get better. I think just from practicing and seeing other manga artists now because uh, there's so much competition out there that you just kind of want to strive to be the best, you know. So, uh, yeah, um, right now I'm trying to work at least a page a day because I'm trying to take my time uh, on these mangas, you know, I'm uploading them on uh, DeviantArt. Uh, manga magazine dot net you guys should totally check that out it's a pretty good website to you know check out the latest mangas that are, people are posting up and it's a good way to show your work and you know get some good comments off of it but uh... Um, enough about that <laughs> let's talk about Inaho now well Inaho is a good story that I you know thought of many times over and you know, I honestly believe it's worth, I think it's at a pretty big caliber, it could actually be as big of a manga as Dragon Ball Z or, you know, even bigger, you never know. But um, I honestly think it's a good piece to put out there. But the thing is, uh, many manga artists want to be big in uh, Japan, you know, people from here in America. And honestly, my dream isn't to be big in Japan. I, I want to be big here in the U.S. I actually want to make manga huge in the U.S., not in Japan. I mean, I have nothing against Japan. I love Japan. But, you know, we're all from here. <laughs> it's great that we want to, sh you know, show our work over there. But the best thing would be is just why not stay here and actually show our country that we can actually do something here with manga and make it popular so that's one of my biggest goals with um my manga to make it huge here in the US um for you guys today I'm, I'm gonna explain more about just the concept so maybe some of you guys can understand the story better and I'll show you guys some old artwork real quick just give me a second alright my very first sketchbook. This is when I was in elementary school. Probably. Just probably graduating. Here is some of my really old work, right? Yes, very crappy. Very fast. Fast drawings. <laughs> it's funny because um, I was reading Bakuman. And it reminded me a lot. There's a chapter where um, the main guy, he uh, he's trying to think of a good manga to write, but uh, he can't really think of anything good. So what happens is, uh, you know, he goes to his old stash of mangas, and he finds this old manga that he thought, wow, this is a good manga. It's my detective manga. And, you know, he's like, wow, it's so crappy, but yet so good. And that's, I think that's how I felt about Naho. So, you know, if any, if you guys ever need good ideas for a story, what if you already wrote it back then when you were little, you know? Maybe just have it somewhere in your room. You just got to look for it and then remake it better. But, you know, over the years, you do tend to, you know, get better at this. You know, you, you're, you're starting to understand the concepts of uh, proportions and things you know many many of us have uh, problems with uh, a lot of uh, proportion drawings I mean I'm still not there but uh, 
I feel like I'm okay, but uh, I'm just not quite there yet for my manga. Uh, but uh, as for uh, rivals out there, I don't really consider anyone a rival. But if I did have to say, if there was one manga artist on YouTube or out there in the community of manga in the U U.S., Canada, or whatever, I honestly would say white manga. Odanze, you know? I really like his work. He, uh, he has really good stuff. I recommend, if you haven't heard of him, you know, check out his pages, you know. He's got fantastic art. He pretty much draws like he's from Japan or something. But, uh, you know, the guy's probably been practicing all his life, and it's pretty good. Um, the reason I bring him up is because I honestly think his story, even though I, you know, he hasn't really said anything about his new story, uh, Apple Black, which sounds very interesting. Um, very excited to see. <laughs> you know, can't wait to read it. But um, I honestly think his manga and my manga would probably be the top two mangas if they were published. Um, you know, I know it's a pretty big thing to say, but <laughs> I think his story. He has pretty good. Um, he has pretty good humor in his uh, mangas. You know, he also has very good. Um, detail emotions so I think he would pr portray the story very well of, you know of Apple Black so I think it would be a very good manga and anime show if it ever made it to anime which I'm pretty sure it will the guy's got talent so sure for that as for Naho you know gonna, I'm gonna keep working on it and making it look better I think the story's perfect I will not change anything about it but uh, enough about that Let's talk about Inaho, because I know this is what that's what the video is about. So, uh, sorry for taking so much time on that. But real quick, Inaho is a story of a boy named Wan Miharo, and he is from another land. And what happens is um, he has a very mysterious past because he does not live with his family. He's by himself with his butler, and um, what happens is uh, he tends to be very shy and not talk to anyone, you know, kind of like that, um, kind of like the, the scared main character that doesn't really know, and, but yet he has so much, um, opportunities to be someone, but he doesn't take it, and, uh, you know, he makes it to this new, uh, city where he then meets the, the team of Inaho. They're, uh, Sector 2, and uh, their leader, Roger, who is the oldest of them all, is 17 years old. He has a very funny way of uh, being humorous. He's also a bit perverted. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you always got to have one of those guys in those mangas. But uh, he is a pretty big role in the story. Um, another big character is Sokoto Ketsuke. <laughs> he is the big rival character. And... Uh, you know, he he has a very dark past, but um, I'd rather you guys read that on the manga. I'll probably leave a link for you guys so you guys can check it out. But um, please check it out, and thank you so much. Bye, guys.